Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is on multiplying tens, hundreds, and thousands. Oh my, let's begin. Okay, so our common core strand is uh, right there. So using place value understanding uh, to understand properties of operation and perform multi-digit arithmetic. Okay, so how can we understand place value to help us multiply uh, tens, hundreds, and thousands? So this lesson has a few examples right here. So let's do a little prior knowledge right here, counting by tens. Everybody's counted by tens by now. So there's 10, and then when we jump, there's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and I can keep going, 80, 90. If I wanted to count by 100, it would be 100, 200, 300, 400, all the way up to 5, 6, 700, okay? By thousands, there it is, by thousands. I can do it by 10 thousands, but this lesson only goes up to a thousand right here. So uh, let's go ahead. Okay, so here's um, um, uh, our 10 block right here, and this is our 100 block right here, and this is our 1,000 block right here. Now these kind of take up some space, so what I'm going to do is just draw uh, squares, you guys, and I'll put an H in 1 for hundreds and a T in 1 for thousands okay all right so let's go ahead and start this here so uh, uh, each car on a train has 200 seats how many seats uh, are on a train with nine cars okay so what we're going to do is uh, uh, basically we're going to multiply nine times 200 right here okay so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do um, uh, here's one way you guys here's here's one group of 200 right here okay so here's a hundred here's a hundred so here's 200 Here's another 200, here's another 200, here's another 200, here's another 200. That's five of them. Six, seven, eight, nine. So there's, here's nine times 200 right here, okay? So 200, 200, 200. There's nine of them right here. And what I'm going to do is group them. So if I grouped them, then here's um, uh, ten hundreds right here. Ten hundreds makes a thousand. And then here's eight hundreds. Eight hundreds makes eight hundred right there. All right, so what I'm going to do is just add 1,000 plus 800, and I'm going to get 1,800 right there. Okay, easy enough. Okay, so here's another way, you guys. 9 times 200 here is going to be 9 times how many hundreds? Two of them, okay, which is going to be 9 times 2 is 18, so we have 1,800. So 1,800 is 1,800 right there. Here is my 18. Hundreds, okay, so think 1800s is the same as 1800, okay, nice and easy. So there are uh, 1800 seats on that train that has nine cars, okay. All right, so explain how finding nine times two can help us find nine times 200. Okay, well, nine times two is 18, you guys. So, so if I multiply nine times two equals 18, and then use the number of zeros in 200, since there's two zeros right there, then I just add two zeros to 18. So when I add two zeros to 18, I get 1,800 or 1,800 right there. See my two zeros? So nine times two is this number right here, 18. And then so since this has two zeros, just tag on two zeros to the 18. So it gives me, and then say, you know, say the number correctly, put the comma in the appropriate spot right there. So so remember, this is called a period, this 1,800, this 800 is called a period. So every three numbers is a period and has a comma. Okay, hope that makes sense, you guys. Okay, so here's some more ways, you guys. We're going to use a number line. So Bob's Bike Shop uh, in Woodland, California, uh, rents 3,000 bikes each month. So how many bikes does the store rent in six months? Okay, so what basically we're going to do is find uh, 6 times 3,000 right there. Okay, so... Uh, let's, uh, multiplying can be thought of as repeated addition. Here's 6 times 3. 6 times 3 is the same as 6 3's added together. And 6 3's added together, 0 plus 3 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18. So 6 3's is the same as 6 times 3. So 6 times 3 is just 18, okay? Well, we know that. That's basic stuff right there. All right, well, let's do uh, 6 times 30, okay? 6 times 30 is just, uh, uh, we're just going to add 30 every time. So 6 times 30 is the same as 6 times 18, but it has 30 has a 0 in it, so I just tagged a 0 with the 18, okay? 6 times um, uh, 300 
is the same as 6 times 3, which is 18, but with, since 300 has two zeros, I just add two zeros on it, okay? And so you can just think of, I can just add 300 plus 300 is 600, plus 300 is 900. So I'm just up here just adding two zeros. Plus 300 is 1,200, 1,500, and 1,800. Or you can just do 6 times 3 is 18 and add two zeros, okay? But we're doing 3,000 seats, so 3,000 seats has three zeros, so, so it's going to be 6 times 3, which is 18, with three zeros right there, so it's 18,000, okay? So Bob's Bike Shop rents 18,000 bikes uh, in six months, okay? Nice and easy, huh? Okay, so let's try this uh, using patterns here, okay? Okay, 4 times 8 is 32. That's basic stuff. So what's 4 times 80? It's going to be 32 with that 0 right there. So 320. Okay, uh, uh, what did I say? 42? I did 4 times 8. What's uh, 4 times 800, you guys? 4 times 800 is going to be still 32, but with two zeros right there. So put the comma in the appropriate spot, and you get 3,200. There's my 32 with these two zeros right there and those two zeros. So this is going to be 32 with three zeros, okay? Nice and easy. And then put the comma in the appropriate spot, so 32,000. Okay, let's try it with some zeros. Okay, 6 times 5 equals 30, so I already have a zero in there. So when I multiply 6 times 50, it's going to be 30 with a zero next to it. So that's going to get me 300 right there. Okay, see how this zero matches up this zero? 6 times 5 is 30. So 6 times 50 is going to be the 30 with that 0. So this is going to be 30 with two more zeros because of those two zeros, okay? And this is going to be 30 with three more zeros, okay? And just put the commas in the appropriate spot. So that one's 3,000 and that one's 30,000, okay? So how does the number of zeros in the product of 6 and 5,000 compare to the number of... Uh, zeros in the factors. Okay, well, six, remember, 6 times 5 is 30, and that has a 0 in it. So 6 times 5,000 is going to have a 30 with three more zeros in it. So how many zeros is 6 times 5,000 going to have in it, you guys? 6 times 5,000 is going to have four zeros. There's my 30 with the three zeros right there. So there are four zeros in the product and only three zeros in this factor right here. Okay, so three zeros in this factor right here but there's four zeros in the product because the zero and the six times five we started with, uh, so it added an extra zero, so something like that, okay? All right, so describe how the number of zeros in the factors and the product changes uh, as, it, uh, as in the last examples that we did, okay? So as the number of zeros in the factor increases, so does the number of zeros in the product increases, okay? So, so when you're multiplying like times 50 or times 500, it just keeps adding the zeros on that, okay? I hope that makes sense, you guys. Take care.